Working from home in a nutshell has been quite a change and I'll admit it's been pretty difficult for me. Initially I was a little bit anxious and just uncertain about how to operate at home. I found it pretty tough at times actually. Some days you wake up and it's a struggle to get out of bed. And... I experienced some anxiety because obviously we were all finding ourselves in a very new situation. I actually just want a bit more social interaction with my mates. There's a couple of things I'm trying to do to cope. One of them is make sure I speak with my family a lot more than I used to. Make sure that you do connect with people that you love. Without doing a three hour commute, it means I can spend more time with my daughter. Throwing yourself into some of the socials that get organised with work as well gives you a, a much stronger connection to your colleagues during this time. The top tip would be getting a serious routine. Remember to organise your home life in lockdown with as much care and thought as you've organised your work life. It really works for me to stick with a very structured rhythm. Sunshine really helps. Make sure you see the outdoors. I've loved having a dog and going for dog walks um, at the end of every day. It gives me a chance to clear my head. Alfie, are we off? You don't look like you're ready. Doing exercise is essential for your physical health as well as your mental health. I've certainly went out jogging, taking the kids to the park for our daily exercise. I find it hard to switch off, so I've tried to run most days to try and just take my mind off work. Recently I learned how to bake sourdough. It is the most time consuming thing in the world, which is perfect for now. I've also picked up knitting and that's been a nice way to just stop me from looking at the news. Although you're hungry for news, it's important not to get addicted to it because it can be a bit repetitive and, and sometimes a bit depressing. My meditation practice has also supported me hugely. I've downloaded the Headspace app and I'm using the Sleepcast, which I find really nice. Look out the best you can for other people. Just be conscious that they might not say they're struggling, but it's important to ask the question and really make sure that they're okay. Checking in, having a laugh and a joke and, and trying to lighten the mood around it all helps in some way. But also being sensitive if they do want a bit more of a, a sensitive chat about things or a serious chat. We all have bad days, everybody has a bad day. It's okay to have a bad day. 